President Obama's clean power plan says it sets achievable standards to reduce 2005 carbon dioxide levels by 32 percent by the year 2030. Though the White House says in the long run this plan will cut costs and add more jobs, some lawmakers see this plan as a war on coal and in turn on American jobs. The president's largest act of war on climate change calls for states to come up with individual ways in which they will help achieve this reduction goal. The administration wants these plans soon so they can implement the rule next year. Because we've let every state choose their own path forward to customize their plan and given them that flexibility, they can make choices. They can keep coal running. Georgia Senator Johnny Isaacson fears for his state's economy. Anytime we can reduce carbon emissions, that's good. But anytime you try and force it to a point that it's not economically feasible to do so, you have to see, examine what your priorities really are. Amongst a host of other impacts, the White House says the bill will continue to lower the cost of renewable energy. But some senators aren't buying it. If you shut down the coal industry, we've lost half of our potential for electricity. So it's going to raise utility rates. It's going to kill jobs. We know Congress will have other choices they need to make. And frankly, the president gave them a lot of opportunity in his first term to act. And they did not do that. Senators Isaacson and Danes are co-sponsors of the Affordable Reliable Electricity Now Act, a bill that, amongst other things, could slow the EPA's implementation of the president's new rule. Reporting at the White House, I'm Peter Zampa.